Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now this morning, I'm just going to try and cross the road without getting run over. We're in Christchurch in Shamley Green, which is just outside of Guildford. Um, so, beautiful little churchyard, from what I can see. I've never been here before, but it's gorgeous. And yet again, I've brought the sun with me, because I'm good like that. Um, but don't worry, there will be autumn videos in the autumn and in the winter, where I'll be chucking it down with rain and you'll have great fun and take the mickey out of me and anyway um first of all thank you to any new members as usual uh, any existing members people that have donated thank you very much um i really appreciate it as always uh, it goes a long way and i'm very grateful um don't forget today if you do decide that you like this video then uh, give it a thumbs up of course leave your comments down below let me know what you think and um yeah, I haven't told you who we come to see, have I? We come to see Tony Hart today. Do you remember Tony Hart? Uh, brilliant, I used to love him, Take Hart and all the rest of it. I'll tell you a little bit more about him in a minute. Um, but I'm excited because he got to work with Morph. And we all loved Morph, didn't we? I used to like his gobby little cousin. Chaz, was it? The grey one? Funny as... Anyway, let's just get on with it, shall we? Norman Anthony Hart, 15th of October 1925 until the 18th of January 2009, known professionally as Tony Hart. Tony was born in Hastings Road, Maidstone in Kent, and he was always interested in drawing from an early age. He left school in 1943 and wanted to join the Royal Air Force, but he would have been unable to fly owing to a slightly deficient eyesight. He followed in his father's footsteps and joined the British Indian Army instead, where he gained an officer's commission in the 1st Gurkha Rifles. Never knew that. However, when he was told that the lower ranked British officers would be replaced by Indian officers following in Indian independence, he decided to join, rejoin civilian life. The outbreak of the Korean War in 1950 saw him being recommissioned into the Territorial Army attached to the Royal Artillery from November the 23rd, 1948 to the 1st of July, 1950. After being demobbed, Hart decided to become a professional artist and studied at Maidstone College of Art. He graduated in 1950 and after working as a display artist in the London store, became a freelance artist. Hart's break into broadcast television came in 1952 after his brother persuaded him to attend a party where he met a BBC children's television producer. After an interview in which Hart drew a fish on a napkin while the producer was looking for a piece of paper, Hart became the resident artist on the Saturday special programme. Subsequent television shows included Playbox 1954 to 1959, Titch and Quakers 63, Vision On 1964 to 76, Take Hart 1977 to 83, Heartbeat 84 to 93, Artbox Bunch, 1995 to 96, Smart Heart 99 to 2000, but from the 70s he often appeared alongside the animated plasticine stop motion character Morph. Morph was created by Peter Lord of Ardman Animations. We all loved Morph, didn't we? He was brilliant. <laughs> I did, anyway. <laughs> I think that's about my humour level. Hart was a regular face of the BBC Children's television programme Blue Peter in the 1950s and presented a number of programmes in 1959. Richard Marsden's book of Blue Peter Inside the Archive lists Hart as a presenter in 19. 59, but he is not officially listed as a host. As well as demonstrating small scale projects, the type that viewers might be able to do, Hart also created large scale artworks on the television studio floor. Hello. Well, today it's all about light. And anything that we can see through, like glass, we call transparent. Hart also created the original design for the Blue Peter badge, which was also used as the program's logo. He originally asked for the fee to be paid as a royalty of one, one pre-decimalisation penny for each badge made. 
but was offered a flat fee of £100, equivalent to around £3,000 in January 2020. Hart received two BAFTA awards. His first for Best Children's Educational Programme came in 1984 for Take Hart, and he was given the Lifetime Achievement Award in 1998. He retired from regular TV work in 2001. He met his wife Jean Skingle whilst working in television. They married in 1953. They were married for over 50 years until she died in 2003. They had a daughter, Carolyn. On the 28th of December 2006, it was announced during a TV reunion program, which started with Swap Shop, that Tony was in poor health. It was not elaborated on until the interview with The Times, published on the 30th of September 2008, revealing that two strokes had robbed him of the use of his hands and unable to draw. He described this as the greatest cross I've had to bear. Hart died peacefully on the 18th of January 2009 at the age of 83. Now it says that Tony Hart was um, buried here. But in, in pictures and things like that, to me, it looks like um, it might be a little memorial plaque. So whether or not he was cremated and his ashes are interred, I don't know. But I think I found it. So we'll just have a little look along here. Here we go. Jean Hart, 1930 to 2003. Tony Hart, 1925 to 2009. With one of these little sketches on there, wow. So there we have it, Tony Hart's memorial plaque. Now, I don't know about you, but it um, depends what age you are, I suppose, but when I used to get in from school and Tony Hart was on, I used to love it. It was a, a great show. Um, but like I said earlier on, <laughs> I was just probably more interested in seeing Morph because I used to love the stop animation you know, the way it was done, especially back then, these days, they just get CGI and boom, 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 wouldn't they? <coughs> but, um, well, I'll say that. Wallace and Gromit didn't do that. Um, but, yeah, uh, such a talented, talented artist. And, you know, to get to a certain age where obviously yeah you retire from tv but then subsequently have strokes which robbed him of the use of his hands which were his tools you know those were his not only his bread and butter but it's his creative side of him isn't it um and yeah you know for someone like tony hart that's a that's a real shame really anyway thanks for watching today and uh, don't forget to give it a little thumbs up if you like it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and of course you can hit that notifications bell as well and leave your comments down below really important and i will see you all on the next one take care